Hey, what's going on guys? Zeb's here bringing you another tutorial. And uh, first off, I'd like to say uh wasn't able to upload last week, had some stuff to do, so uh, my bad for that. Um, and then this week, I will be showing you guys a uh, filters, like the stuff that you do towards the end of the banner, once the main stuff's done, like the, the final touch, the cherry on top, the, uh, the whip cream of the banner, you know, like the sweet part. Um, but if uh, I have made a tutorial on this before, but I thought eh, it wasn't very good, so I decided I'd remake it. And uh, this is the remade version of it. Uh, it's better, uh, new and improved. So I'm just going to show you the before and after of this banner here I have, which I'll be using for the example. And if you'd like to watch the speed art, it's on my personal channel if you want to go check that out. Uh, but uh, here is the before, and then here's the after. You can tell the difference between the lighting and some of the stuff I did that just gives it that final touch that makes the banner come together. Um, so yeah, so let's get started. So the first thing what you're going to want to do is you are, you're going to want to select everything you have, the backing, everything, and duplicate it. But to do this, you could either just right click and copy it or do control J and then just merge it together by right clicking and do merge layers. And right, this will make a uh, this, but all in one layer. So if I was to deselect all of this and then deselect and just have this one checked, it would still have all this. So we're going to duplicate that one now because this one will be our backup in case we don't do something that we like. Uh, so first thing, what I usually do is I start off with blur. So go into your filter section and click blur and then go into Gaussian blur. Uh, 3.5 pixels is what I use so if you want to use it you can too but obviously you can have your own uh, presets so I'm just going to erase part of uh, this the main part that I want people to see the most so the letters and the logo and then just kind of erase it. it doesn't have to be perfect and also for the sake of the tutorial I'm kind of rushing through it but when you're making the speed art definitely take your time on that um, so once we've done that, we're just going to set the blur to 70, or let's set it to 60. And uh, once we've done that, we're just going to merge them together, duplicate again, and then go filter, uh, magic bolt, or uh, other, and then high pass. High pass, if uh, you haven't used it before, it's kind of getting more popular, which is, this tool makes everything sharper, but it makes it look nicer. So three point. 3 pixels is what I use. I think the default is like 15 or something like that, which can work, but it's kind of like an overkill. So just select overlay. And then as you can see, it makes everything a lot sharper, which uh, makes things stand out, which is good. Um, so just merge those together now. We're always gonna be merging stuff. So once you have the second layer, go to filter. And um, if you wanted, I'm gonna show two different ways to do this, but the main way is uh, magic bullet looks now if you don't have it I'll show you what to do if you don't have it but if you do then just uh, I'll show you what to do in here so just load it up I have looks builder I've heard that there's different versions I haven't really messed with it but um, what you're gonna want to do first is uh, go to the right move your mouse to the right and then go into lens and then get edge softness now what edge softness does is it adds blur kind of like a stronger blur, so something you'd have on edges, basically. And we just want to have a light blur so it focuses more on the main part of the banner, which is what we want. This next part is uh, kind of optional. It works sometimes for some banners and then sometimes it doesn't. Uh, again, so we're just going to do it on this one just to make it stand out even more, uh, which this makes things darker, darker edges, so blur and dark kind of works well with this. And then anomic anomophoric flare. Uh, what this does is it causes uh, flares like this. Now you might want to edit your settings a little bit so just kinda maybe turn it down lower maybe lower it really just depends like something like this would work um, again it depends on the banner. Uh, sometimes these settings don't work, so you just want to keep that in mind. And yeah. So I'm just going to click OK. And then for the version, or for the people who don't have uh, Magic Bullet Looks, I'll show you what to do once this loads. So there you go. It kind of just does a little small difference. Uh, so yeah. So to when, if you don't have Magic Bullet Looks, just make a new layer, get a brush, set it black, and then just kind of. Eh, 
like do this and then just lower the opacity a bunch and then uh, what you want to do then is you want to merge these together duplicate filter uh, blur Gaussian blur and then just erase all of whoops erase all of this like every like the, this part and then that will cause the outer part to have blur and then you just want to set it to 60 and that will do the same effect but it's again magic bullet looks is just a lot easier so yeah I'll keep that and then the final part which is again very optional um, which is the 3d effect now you probably already know this but uh, what you want to do is you want to double click it go into blending blending options and then check blue the the B which is for blue because if you didn't know pixels were made up of RG or uh, certain colors I'm pretty sure it's red green and blue so if you deselect it it will make a glitch effect so once you've done that, just kind of move it to the right a couple times, and that will cause it to have blue, as you can see here. Uh, actually, I might move it to the left once, merge, duplicate, and then now we're just going to finish off the glitch effect by uh, getting a bunch of rectangles. Now to do this, just uh, start making rectangles, hold shift, and then just do a bunch of them, like so and then just drag it to the left a couple times. Uh, you could have it really strong, but you don't generally want to have it too strong. So something like that will work. But uh, yeah, so that's the final part. And then after that, generally, if that's all you want to do, you would add your, your name, claiming that you made it, things like that, so people can't copy it, things like that. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Um, please, please, please leave a comment down below on what you guys would like me to see. Um, it's getting a little difficult deciding on what I like want to do uh, because I've done a lot of the stuff that I know. So I want to I want you guys to leave a comment down below on what you guys would like me to see. Uh, any suggestions is fine. I usually do suggestions. So yeah. Again, I could even make a tutorial on how to make this banner if you want. Just leave a comment down below on what you guys would like to see. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. If you liked it, please uh, leave a like and a comment. And if you didn't, then dislike it and leave a comment on why you didn't like it. So there's that. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys, for the third time. I am Zebs, and I'm out. Peace.